Good morning and welcome back. A health alert linked to vaping. Doctors say teenagers and young adults are being hospitalized across the U.S. for lung damage after using e-cigarettes. It's become a widespread issue in at least eight states. In Wisconsin this week, the health department confirmed 15 cases of lung damage. Meanwhile, four teenagers in Minnesota are getting treatment for pulmonary disease after vaping. Just last week, we told you about an FDA investigation into reports of seizures, fainting, and tremors after vaping. 127 cases have been reported since April. Experts are still trying to determine whether vaping was directly linked to those cases. Joining me now is Dr. Rajul Parikh, a neurologist with Memorial Hospital. Thank you, sir, so much for coming in. This is a very important conversation to have, and I think, including myself, this is a misconception. I'm not a smoker, but I always thought that vaping, for whatever reason, was not as harmful as cigarettes. And I think that misconception is shared among many people. That's correct. So vaping is not as harmful, but it's still harmful. There is a nicotine in there, and nicotine is the main substance that, that brings on a lot of uh, troubles, especially it's very addictive itself. So uh, they, they bring in vaping a lot of times, saying that uh, people are able to get uh, quit the c cigarettes itself, but then you are trying to get hooked on to the vaping itself. So vaping, I would say, yes, it's, it's, it's not without any risks. Working in news week after week, we see headlines involving or including e-cigarettes of some sort, vaping of some sort, from marketing and targeting younger audiences to people of all ages using these types of devices to get their nicotine. One thing that we were talking about during the break, the triggers, the triggers of vaping while, say, out in a club with certain lighting, particular instances for triggers. Yeah, so triggers wise, I think the flashing lights or strobe lights at times are triggered for seizures and uh, uh, that can bring on if someone has underlying tendency to seize or any kind of tendency to have seizures itself. Now, vaping, they are trying to investigate, the FDA is trying to investigate if there is any clear link or, or really cause that vaping itself does it. But we know that nicotine itself is associated with the with the seizures at times. So if someone has overdose on nicotine, then it can, it can give the seizures. And uh, what, what FDA is looking into with this investigation is, is there any particular kind of brand or uh, concentration of nicotine itself that's being used in the vaping devices is, is really related to the seizures itself. That's fascinating. When you hear these numbers, these recent numbers, do you find them to be staggering? Yes, I think it's, it's very... Uh, uh, important to kind of follow and find out if there is any real link between them and be cautious. And I think the parents or your, your uh, friends, if you, f if you see anything concerning, you should go on online or uh, go to the FDA uh, reporting website mm -hmm. and then at least report on what, what they used, how much concentration they used, what kind of brand they used and, and report that. So that would help going forward if there is any really big risks uh, especially like neurological issues, fainting at times, or having disorientation or, or tremors. A lot of times they see there are tremors too after having vaping. Our particular segment draws attention to teenagers and young people. You as a doctor, as a neurologist, what would you say to parents out there who say, man, my, my child is just hooked on vaping, my teenager is hooked on vaping, well, it must be better than smoking a cigarette it's okay. What would you tell them? What would you tell parents? What would you tell people who are hooked to these devices, to vaping? What would you say to them? I would say, I mean, it's still, as, as we discussed before, it's not without the risk. It still has a nicotine and it contains a lot of uh, uh, if side effects associated with nicotine, increases a lot of health risks, including, as you can see, the seizures and other lung issues and also cardiovascular heart problems. It's so a lot of issues. Yes. Think twice before you continue, right? That's correct. Dr. Parikh, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you.